I wanted to give students a, a broader context. Many students may come with very little background in earth sciences or human geography. So I wanted to give a general context for them. And so one chapter is devoted to planet Earth, They're basically a, a brief run through of, of the physical geography of the world. Uh, this gives students at least some basic understanding of some of the issues we deal with later on in the book. At least they, they have a slightly firmer grounding, uh, excuse the pun, of the physical geography of the world. Uh, and the other chapter was about the intellectual history of the discipline. And I thought that would be interesting for students studying uh, human geography uh, to get a, a wider historical sense of what geographers, where geography came from and what geographers did do and what is the continuation with geographers doing uh, similar and but different things today. So we can look at the history of mapping from uh, Claudius Ptolemy in uh, um, ancient uh, um, uh, Alexandria. Uh, to contemporary uh, satellite photography. There is a continuation. So I thought it would be a useful context for students to give them a grounding in both the kind of general physical geography and an introduction to the discipline. Some people may not prefer this or they may not have enough time. So the book is written so uh, they can move on if they prefer to, not to, to look at this and to still have a full course by moving on to the next part. But I would encourage students and, and the, the instructors to at least give it a, a, a general introduction to the discipline.